guys welcome to my channel so today we are going to make some cinnamon icing is only three different ingredients but it's so good this is my always my family request this kind of um, icing so we're gonna use eight ounces of whipped cream okay So this eight ounce of whipped cream and also you can make your own whipped cream usually I make my own whipped cream at home but tonight it's late it's nine o'clock my husband want me to make some icing because I made some cinnamon roll okay so a cup of powdered sugar okay so we're gonna mix this really well because we don't want to be splatter everywhere the powder okay so it's kind of mixing it so this is the second ingredients Okay, the big ingredients, but we have to add some um, other two things, but just a little bit. So the big ingredients, that would be the whipped cream, powdered sugar, a cup of powdered sugar, and then we're going to add three cream cheese. Okay, so this one, we are going to add this to our whipped cream and brunch of powdered sugar now it's important that you are you are um, allowing to um, kind of melt a little bit so when you buy your um, if you're gonna make this kind of um, icing it's really important that you are putting um, outside the refrigerator allowing to um, soften your um, cream cheese okay it's like room temperature and then um, oh like maybe three hours before you're making your um, what do you call that your icing for your um, cinnamon okay so I make a lot of cinnamon because my granddaughter Jada asked me to make some and then my husband want me to make some so and this whipped cream you can use this for your banana bread for your cake I mean this is really simple and it's good it's delicious guys promise try this at home it's really easy to make but just make sure that your um, like I said that your um, cream cheese is softened so sit in room temperature for three hours before you are using it okay okay so there we go so we have three cream cheese right so I'm gonna wash my hands for a minute okay so we're gonna use the hand mixer so I'm gonna move this my spoon for a minute okay Can you see why I um, start from whipped cream and then powdered sugar to prevent the splatter when you brought out the powdered sugar? Okay, mix that really well. I'm going to, okay, so I'm going to scoop this. edges make sure all the um, powdered sugar then make sure there is no dry in your bowl okay now we're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla okay teaspoon then we're gonna add a pinch of salt this is how easy it is to make I promise you try this at home it is so good okay so a pinch of salt I'm gonna wash my hands again. Splatter everywhere. Okay. So, I'm gonna mix this again in a low, 
low setting, but you're gonna be splattered all over. Make sure that there is no dried powdered sugar, guys. And make sure they're really smooth. Your okay. So we're gonna get this again. So this is so easy, guys, to make. Look at my shirt. I have some cream cheese. Okay. So and my finger. It is really, really good. And it's really light. Because we use the whipped cream. It's really light. And it's not too sweet. So it consists of a whipped cream, one cup of butter sugar, okay, three um cream cheese. Three boxes of cream cheese, a pinch of salt, and a teaspoon of um, vanilla. That's all the ingredients. Very simple. And it's really light. Now I'm going to increase this um, in mixer. And I want to make sure that it's really soft and moist. Okay. okay, so this is done. This is so easy to make, guys. Really easy. And it's really, really light. Now, if you're on diet, it's not going to be really good. So my husband asked me to make his uh, cinnamon. And you're going to eat that. Tomorrow for his cheat day, he cannot eat anything else because this is like a high carbon sugar because the uh, cinnamon it's carb and also sugar, so that's what he's going to eat tomorrow. Okay, so this is done. So next we're gonna get our cinnamon. Okay, so I need to slide the knife its corner to make sure that it's not sticking to the um, bottom, okay. Now we're gonna put this in our plate. Hope you can see it, guys. Mm. See, it's kind of hard. Okay. Oh, perfect, thank you. Thank God. Okay, so this is what it look like, the bottom, right? So I have to get another plate. Okay, we have to get another plate to put this, okay? It's like this, right? Well, we're gonna do like this, okay. Then I need to flip. There we go. That's easy, right? Okay, so this is what it look like, guys. The, mm. I'm so tempted to eat. I'm so tempted to eat this cinnamon bread. Well, I made some cinnamon bread last yesterday because for my grandson, Devin. Then my granddaughter called and said she wants some cinnamon bread. So I have to cook another one. Then my husband said, well, can I have some? I can eat that for my um, cheat day. So I said, okay. Then they said, oh, we want the icing, our favorite icing. So I just love my family, you know, and I would love to cook for them, their favorite. But yeah, that's how I make, guys. And then, I'm not gonna put the side. Well, yeah, maybe. Well, I, I think I'm gonna make some, cause this is my husband's favorite. So I'm just going to put something here, you know, like that. Anyway, anyhow, so my, grand, my granddaughter said, well, don't put um, icing on my um, cinnamon bread I want you to put on the tupperware and I want you to put a lot of it because I love your icing so I tell her okay so tomorrow I'm gonna bring her 
cinnamon bread to my grandson's game. But anyway, go back to what I'm doing. This is a very simple to make, as you can see, or how I show you guys. Um, very light, and you know what? You can use this icing to everything from cake to cake to banana bread to anything that you want to put your icing. Trust me, you get addicted. My family get addicted on this icing. Every time I make some banana bread, it requests this icing. My grandson last night, yesterday, when I make his cinnamon bread, and he said, where's my icing? So, then I called today, ask him if he wants some icing, and he said, oh, they almost finished eating his cinnamon bread. So, I made a lot of icing today because I'm going to put it in my refrigerator. It does, it will probably take two weeks you're still able to keep your icing for two weeks in your refrigerator. Put in the very back so they will be last a little bit longer. Okay, guys, so I think this is it. I'm not going to put too much of it. I think that's my husband should be happy with this. But I have to make a lot. I'm sending a lot to my granddaughter because she likes you like this. I spoiled my family. I just love my family, guys, you know. I like to cook for them okay guys so that's it I hope you enjoy this um, my icing recipe it's really easy to make thank you so much I love you guys may God bless you all bye bye